Hi guys, welcome to the review for the new Dragonfly X2 from Ink Machines. Let's get straight into it. Here it is, how it comes from the supplier. Got the X2 here. In the box you've got a tube of super lube. Just the one side. Okay, this is the X2 model. Okay, um, this cost me with the VAT £352 from Barber DTS in the UK. Um, if I were to order it from Ink Machines Direct, it would have cost me in the region of £420-odd pound, uh, because of the Swedish tax. So I got it from a reputable tattoo supplier from the UK. Um, they had a 10% off day, so I took advantage of it. And like I say, all in all, paid £352 for this machine. This one's a crazy lime colour. I prefer the brighter colours, it's just personal preference, but I prefer the brighter colours because they show up, you know, if you get any dirt or anything like that, any ink on it, um, it's easier to see than it is if you had like a black one, say. So I just prefer the, the brighter colours. But it's personal preference, really. Um, this machine... I'm going to show you the weight of it. Really light machine this. 83 grams, which is really, really light. You know, if you compare this weight to something like a Mickey Sharps, um, this, it, this actually is my favourite machine. Um, this is a Mickey Sharps Hornet Mark IV. Check them out, mickeysharps.com. But I'll show you the weight of this. 261 grams, so <clears throat> more than three times heavier than the Dragonfly. Um, so check out my review on this, I'll be putting one up uh, if anyone's interested in coal machines. So on with the review of the X2 Dragonfly. It comes with a custom built 6 watt Swedish motor. Um, <clears throat> All the X2 models come with it with the new X2 motor, the 6 watt custom built X2 motor. Um, the Stingray, the new Stingray X2 comes with this same motor as well. Check out my review on that. Um, it's up on my videos page if you're interested in seeing the Stingray X2 version. The, the Stingray is sold as a, a liner from um, Ink Machines and the Dragonfly is sold as a shader. Though, to be honest, both can do either or, um, but I'll, I'll get into that towards the end of the review, what I prefer and my reasons why. So uh, the back of this machine you can see you've got an option for RCA and you've also got option for clip cord. So you've got choice of two there. Each one of these machines comes with a laser marked, um, a laser marked Serial number, I'm just covering it with my thumb there because I don't want the serial number to be uh, on YouTube but you can see the picture of the um, tattoo machine there and then just below it it'll have a unique serial number for this machine. I, as far as I know at the moment there's no clones of these X2 models going about but I'm sure there will be in the future. Um, I wouldn't waste your time with clones to be honest. They're not going to work like the originals. So features You've still got the needle bar retainer from the like the original Dragonfly. Um, you've got the gib switch at the top. Now the the gib screw at the top has a damper installed inside them. If you notice, a lot of um, rotary machines with these gib screws, when the gib is backed out like anti-clockwise, you know to to make the machine hit softer, they tend to make quite a loud clattering noise and ink machines have addressed this by putting a damper inside here and it um, it basically stops the clatter and with stopping the clatter obviously you get less vibration as well which makes the machine more stable to use and makes it more comfortable if you're using it for a long time so that's a welcomed change to the new Dragonfly. Um, the first thing that you probably notice with this machine is the addition of this motor cover. Now this little piece of plastic is actually quite genius. 
doesn't weigh anything it's just a basic piece of plastic which lies flush which covers all the motor and the reason for this is so you don't get any you know dust particles or anything in there that can um, mess up the workings of the machine but one massive advantage of this cover is if you're using these machines with cartridges and you can use a dragonfly with a cartridge um, it's simply to modify it's simple to modify you just take the the gib screw off take the cap off and you remove the stay up spring and you remove that so you don't put strain on the motor if you're using cartridges because you don't need the stay, up, the stay up spring if you're using cartridges so you remove that stay up spring if you check out ink machines website they give you full instructions how to do that and when people have used cartridges in the past it's been known for the ink to travel up the tube and actually get into the motor now if i i'd be really i'd be pretty pissed off if I got ink in this motor, especially contaminated ink. By that I mean ink that you're using to tattoo someone, it's got blood in it, it's got plasma in it, and then that comes up the tube and it goes into your motor. You can't autoclave these machines. You can't put this machine in autoclave. Um, so, you're pretty screwed. I mean, you get contaminated ink in there, it's, you know, it, it's a complete strip down. Um, and it's just going to be an, a complete nightmare. So with the addition of this, just this simple little cap, it just clips on, and you're not going to get that problem. It just runs flush, and I think it makes the machine just look a little bit more sleeker as well, you know. And I, I'm pretty sure, providing the ink machines hasn't painted it this design which I don't think they have um, you'll probably start to see more and more rotaries with this cover because it's, it's just it's just a really welcome addition say it's not really added any weight to the machine at all and it keeps everything out of arm's way in your motor now this machine actually comes with uh, it comes from the factory or from your tattoo supplier with a, a standard throw of 3.7 mil. Now what's great about this new Dragonfly is you can adjust the throw of the machine without the need of excenters. Like this um, this machine's uh, partner, the Stingray, if you want to change the throw of the Stingray you have to purchase additional excenters and install them onto the motor. Um, with this you don't need to, there's instructions on Ink Machine's website but basically you uh, loosen a, a hex screw at the side and then you turn like a screwdriver onto that, you can see it there, that little screw there. You turn that and they show you when it's in different positions it'll give you a different throw. Depending on what position this is at you can have a 2.6mm throw you can have a 3.7 mil throw, which is what this is set at now, and you can also have a 4.5 mil throw. Um, again, just by adjusting this screw here, you don't need to buy any excenters or anything. It's it's all in with the machine. So that's a that's a really welcome um, addition to this machine as well. Um, the fact that you don't need to be purchasing because these at centers you know that they're, they're not cheap they're about 20 pound a piece um, when, when you buy them so it's nice just to be able to tweak the machine and get the throw you want without buying extra uh, extra pieces of kit um, I've had a couple of people message me asking um, if you could only choose one machine the Dragonfly or the Stingray, which one would you choose for an all-rounder? Um, like I say, the Stingray is marketed as a liner, the Dragonfly is marketed as a shader. Now, the answer, well, my answer, which is just, again, it's personal preference, my answer to that would be, if I had the choice but only owning a Stingray or only owning a Dragonfly X2, personally, I'd go for the Dragonfly after using both of them. And my reasons for this are the Stingray hits really, really hard. And I know 
it's a liner, so, you know, liners are supposed to hit hard, and, it, but it doesn't, it doesn't suit my style of tattooing. I'd recommend the Stingray for someone who is like an old school artist, you know, they've got big bold lines, you're doing a lot of tribal work, stuff like that, Sailor Jerry type stuff. Um, the Stingray then probably would work for you if you're looking to switch from coils and you're looking for a rotary which lines um, and puts those lines in nice and solid, then probably I would recommend the Stingray. But for me, the Dragonfly, it's it's got the edge on the Stingray because the Dragonfly lines really well as well and the Dragonfly can hit softer than the Stingray, a lot softer. To be honest, the give screw on the Stingray doesn't seem to do that much at all, really. Um, even with it backed out full three turns out the way, it, it just doesn't seem to hit any softer. This Dragonfly, it does, it hits soft. But one thing I've noticed about when, when I've been using this Dragonfly is the give seems to be perfect on it. It's just enough give to get those shades in, get those blends in nice and soft, you know, if you're putting colour blends in or black and grey, you know, if you've got the give set out, like maybe two turns where I use it, it's it's soft enough to get the smooth blends, but it's still hard enough to get that ink in there, and I think ink machines have really nailed it for the, you know, the, the amount of give that this machine gives. Um, and like I say, if you like a machine that hits hard, just turn it all the way clockwise, all the way down, and there'll be no give at all. And believe me, there's no give on this when, when it's going, when, when it's turned all the way down. Uh, so I'm going to hook it up now, show you it running. I think Ink Machines recommends um, shading, I think they say on the website, between 8 and 10 volts and for lining anywhere between 9 and 11 volts but you know it's it's all the way around and everything in between it's it's how you tattoo it's got a lot to do with your hand speed what particular piece you're doing and all the rest of it so it's only ballpark figures but it's all up there i shade with this at around about nine volts with um, two turns back on the give and that works for me but again tattooing so individual it's it just depends what what works for you what works for you might not work for someone else and everything in between so i'm going to plug it in now show it hooked up show it running okay guys we're hooking this up now with an rca um i've got a spotlight on this to um give you a really good close up to show you what's going on with the needle valve pin so this is going to be running at 9 volts and this is with no give on at all. This is with the give screw fully clockwise down. There's no give on that at all. It's really hard. See that? It just keeps on hitting. No give whatsoever on that. So now we're going to go for one full turn. One full turn at nine volts. A little bit of give there. Still pretty hard. Just a slight bit of give. Now we're going to go for two full turns. Nine volts. Getting quite a bit of give on that now. And finally, three full turns. Three turns is the maximum give on this machine. You won't get any more give 
after three full turns. Because they would loads of give up that. So that's it guys, that's a review for the Dragonfly X2 from Ink Machines. If you've liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, there'll be some more videos coming soon. Thanks guys.